Uh, I'd like to introduce David Hyman from Checkmarks. David is VP of Software as a Service Operations at Checkmarks. Uh, he's going to introduce, introduce Checkmarks and its products and services. So uh, thank you very much, David, and take it away, please. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Michael. And uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, Checkmarks is, is very, very happy to now be included uh, as a member within the Eclipse Foundation. Uh, we have a large number of our clients using Eclipse. Uh, also, that's promoted internally uh, for a long period of time now. Uh, Eclipse plugins that are coming out of Checkmarks to help our clients work closer uh, within their Eclipse environment. So it's definitely a pleasure to be part of this, this group, this prestigious group. Uh, a little bit of uh, background about Checkmarks. Uh, Checkmarks has a, a core competency from the beginning of creating an application that's going to help clean the world uh, of hackers, to create a hack-free, hacker-free world. Uh, and the way that we're doing that is that we're really working with the, the core, the root of the, the code. We're dealing with the source code, the raw code. And what we're doing is we're taking that raw code and we're running it through a, a static application test. Uh, and that test is going to go ahead and pull out different vulnerabilities and risks that the client has within the code. Uh, it's very important to understand that our clients are using us throughout the lifetime of their account, uh, of the code, uh, the code development cycle. They're not, they're not just waiting until the end right before release uh, to go ahead and, and make those tests. They want to find those problems early where they're easy to solve and then continue to build clean code. Uh, so following in that practice is important. Uh, we provide uh, two services, two levels of service. One is an on-premise solution. Uh, the other is an on-demand solution. Uh, the on-demand solution uh, delivers uh, the same level of static code analysis testing uh, throughout the world, and it just does it in the cloud. So customers within minutes, uh, it doesn't require any download or any application to host them on their side. Uh, within minutes, they just put their code up, scan, and they get results. And that's really what's what's driven the success of that program is that developers are able to get results in real time, uh, not wait uh, a day or two or, or within a heavy application to get those results, and they can make changes. So we're really helping, uh, I think, speed up the process for development, but also keep it clean. Uh, one of the companies that we're doing this with is Salesforce. That basically for Salesforce, we're not only helping them secure internally, but also what we're doing is we're running the security device for their app exchange. So anytime that the new apps are coming in through Salesforce, they're going through a check marks filter, uh, and that's providing a, a certification level uh, that they're using. We're uh, tracked by Gartner. Uh, Gartner has as, uh, as noticed us as a cool vendor and also uh, that uh, we're working within the, the magic quadrants. So we definitely have the innovative touch uh, going ahead. Uh, when clients are using us, uh, they're using our core group of, uh, of over 1,000 queries uh, that we're doing. We also can take custom queries for clients. So if clients from a certain industry, uh, we work closely with the automotive industry, uh, we want to go ahead and, and run a custom query that's going to look at certain aspects within their code process that they know is, is heavily important or they want to put extra emphasis on, they can build their own queries uh, that works out. I mentioned before that uh, we work throughout the lifetime, the developer lifetime uh, of the process uh, with superb accuracy as far as a uh, very minimal number of false positives and false negatives. Uh, and then also we work with all languages, uh, mobile uh, and throughout. Uh, just a, a quick look at, at what our clients get as a result is they're going to get a, a strong reporting engine that's going to give them not only reporting summary, showing scans that were run, what the risk rate was, how many of each, each risk there was, but then we're also then going to break down each risk uh, and we're going to say exactly what was involved. So exactly what was involved with the high, the medium, and low risk vulnerabilities, what they were, and then we're going to go ahead and once they press on that risk, they're going to drive down right and see that risk exactly within their source code. And the great part about Eclipse is that they can come in, then the plugin lets them come in and milk those changes right here and save, and that puts it all on one platform. So uh, what we're doing already with the Eclipse uh, Foundation, I mentioned uh, one, we have a, a strong client base that's using Eclipse. Uh, and so therefore what we've done is we've created what we call the Eclipse plugin. 
uh, and we really get very good feedback from our clients and also helps us change, helps us go ahead and change some of that process. Also, what we've done is that we're starting to look at some of the Eclipse applications themselves. For example, at Jetty, uh, what we're doing is we've gone ahead and done a scan, and we're looking at the results, and this is information that we're going to start to go over with the Jetty community, okay, within Eclipse, and we're going to start to go ahead and, and, and let that team know these are vulnerabilities that we have recognized, uh, and then what we'll do is go ahead and do rescans until we can make sure that that's as clean as possible. Uh, so we're making sure that there's clean code coming out from Eclipse, uh, and we're going to work closely with the community there to, to make that happen. Uh, and lastly, just to let you know, with, uh, with the partnership, what we're going to be doing is offering a free account to the Eclipse, uh, the Eclipse community. So that's something that uh, I hope we're going to be seeing uh, some material coming out on in the near future. Uh, but uh, it's a very exciting partnership for us, and we're looking forward to, uh, to working closely with your team. Thank you. That's great. We look forward to it.